Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use um, a German proxy server to access websites that are normally restricted to people who are physically located in Germany. Now, just like websites all over the world, um, there are many, many popular websites, including lots of media ones, that you can only watch if you're physically inside Germany. So basically, these websites look up where your IP address is registered, and if it's in Germany, you can watch it. And if it isn't, you can't. It works this way in the whole way around the world. Um, American, French, British, Australian, loads and loads of um, websites do this now. I mean, even if you go along on YouTube, there's lots you can and can't see depending on your location. Okay, just to demonstrate quickly, here's a, um, a German TV site called Pro Sieben. Um And if I try and watch the... Um, review uh preview here um you can see i get a location error sorry this video is not available in your country proceedings looked at my ip address um sees it's in the uk and blocked it okay so how do we get past this well the way to get past it is to hide your real ip address and display a german one okay so i'm going to just close this these sites down and i'm going to show you the program I use to get past this. Now, not particularly ProSieben, but any site. If you can see here, this is called NordVPN, and it has VPN servers all over the world. Uh, VPN is very similar to a proxy in that it has an encrypted channel between you and the, um, the VPN server. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And it was originally used primarily for security. The idea is this encrypted channel means that your web activity is completely um, anonymous. So nobody can read it, intercept it, or anything like that. Uh, but it's been increasingly used to um, access blocked content. So um, what do we do? Well, if we're trying to access this, we basically need to just connect to a German server. Now you see there's servers all over the world, but if I move in here and click on Germany, uh, NordVPN will connect me to a German VPN server. You can see it's just pick one at random here. And then we'll be able to um, start our browser. You can see it's connected there. It takes a few seconds to connect, depending on which server. If you connect just on Germany there, it'll there, there are hundreds of different IP addresses and servers available but it'll pick the fastest one relative to your situation. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. I've now effectively got a German IP address. So any site I visit will think I'm in Germany, not the UK. So let's just go back to ProSieben. Um, I won't be able to watch all of these stuff because you need to register, which I won't do that just now, but this is the preview that basically works the same as all the other site, rest of the site. And you can see last time I got a little message at this point. And this time it's seen and I've got a German IP address and it said, oh, hey, you're fine. You're in Germany. Let me browse all that. So I'll just... Uh, stop that and I hope you can see basically I'm a German internet user while I'm using this okay so that's just one of the many many uses from NordVPN um, for instance if you are in Germany you'll know that there's lots of restrictions on YouTube sometimes because of German licensing laws so if you want to have a more unrestricted use of um, YouTube you could pick a, um, a French or a, a UK or an American IP address. In fact, you can switch IP addresses at will. NordVPN doesn't charge extra for different countries. It's it's very reasonable. You, there's a um, their latest offers are in the link in the description below this video. There's one thing I should point out here now. Um, when people look for proxies to access different sites, there's a very very important distinction. This NordVPN uses what's called data center um, IP address which are fine for most, the majority of sites. However, if you want a German IP address to go to perhaps an e-commerce site, like you want to buy sneakers or tickets or, or stuff like that, you might have problems with data center proxies. 
in that case you need residential ones um certainly if you're going to sites like adidas and nike and stuff like that they will check they basically use this as a check to see if you're using a proxy and if you're a re on a residential home connection so that might be something you want to consider but nordvpn works fine for most things like youtube and tv channels and stuff like that if you're not buying anything online nordvpn will be fine if not look at somebody like um luminati or um rotating proxies which are residential they cost quite a bit more but they'll work for any situation okay that's the end of my video and thank you very much for watching goodbye